Okay guys, this week I'm going to talk to you about a popular subject around my parts this time of year. It is late June and the raccoons are getting into everybody's feed and in, digging in their uh, flower gardens and their trash and a lot of the sow coons have kittens. That seems to be the most popular complaint right now. So being a coon hunter over the years, whenever people start having problems with coons this time of year, they always call me. Unfortunately, <clears throat> season's out, so what I recommend to them is I recommend just trapping them themselves. So uh, if you have a, a live trap of some sort, I'm going to show you how I trap most coons. Simple and easy. Uh, my bait of preference is just good old big old marshmallows. And... Uh, I'll take a piece of wire, it can be a coat hanger, a piece of electric fence wire, just whatever you have handy. And I'll take my Leatherman and about four inches or so from the bottom, I'll grab a hold of it and I just kind of bend it up on top of itself like that. And then on the top, about an inch and a half down, I'll bend it down and it kind of makes a Z. I'll take these marshmallows I'll take a couple of them and I just kind of slide it down into that groove of that long V and then I'll take my trap if you're not familiar with these kind of traps this is your lock of your door you just push this back and when you push that back you can raise that door up and then back here there's a pan i don't know if you can see it but you that coon or whatever you're trying to catch has to um, step on that pan and when it steps on that pan it releases this door and this door falls down so i'll take this and i'll reach in there and i hang it from the top of the trap but it's got to be back behind this pan. So what I'll do is I'll reach back there as far as I can reach. I'll set the trap. The other thing that I want to do I want to give us something for that coon that you know make it want to get in there so i'll take a couple three or four marshmallows here and i'll just kind of throw them back in there and they'll start eating them and they'll, they'll get a little more comfortable and they'll go in there one of the main things when setting this trap is i always try to keep them you know level as possible whenever they walk in i don't want it the trap rocking and then the other thing i'll use is i usually take a couple these are just fiberglass electric fence posts, but you can use sticks or whatever you have handy. And I will drive them straight down through the wire here, and I'll shove them in the dirt on each side. And that keeps that trap from, you know, wobbling. I have seen people that just set these traps out and that coon, if they're a little bit hesitant about going in there, they'll try to reach in there and get the bait through the side or something. And then I've even seen them where they'll tip the trap over. Once they tip that trap over, the door usually falls and then the coon can usually fish the bait out through the sides. If you use these tips, I promise you, you will catch coons. If you can't catch them doing, doing this technique, I do have a couple other techniques that I use for problem coons but this will catch 95% of your coons. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope this helps. Be sure and like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week on Perry Phrase Outdoors.